Hello everyone and welcome to my kitchen. So today is Wine Wednesday and I'm doing this recorded instead of live because I have a few Facebook parties going on and I want to make sure that I can share this in each um, party that's going on. So we have a couple of different wine openers. It's all about personal preference. It's also um, all about what you want to spend and we also have some wine accessories to go along with them. So first off, we have our traditional wine opener, which is this guy, and it comes with a foil cutter so you can get the top of your bottles open. So this guy would just go on top like this, and then you just go down and up, and it would pull the cork right out just like that. And I'm going to show you our electric wine opener, because that's what I use most of the time. So this is electric. It's rechargeable. You plug it in just like you would your cell phone or your computer and it just recharges so you never have to change the batteries which is pretty cool and from what I understand you can open 66 bottles approximately um, on one charge so I haven't gotten there yet haven't opened that many wine bottles so I haven't had to recharge this yet so the stand that it lives on is also a foil cutter okay so I've got a bottle here gonna do the foil cutter and you always want to do a foil cutter because if you um, don't then it's harder to get the cork out but also if you do other things like use your good knives and stuff like that you're just gonna ruin your knives so don't do that so we've cut our foil so there it is okay so we've got our cork here so we're gonna take our wine opener place it on make sure you hold on to the bottle or else the bottle will spin and then just press the button you can see it lighting up pretty blue right so then it's just gonna pull it up when it's done and I went in kind of crooked so took it out a little hard so then when you're ready to take it out, you just push the reverse button and then it just pushes the cork right out like that. Okay, so we've got some other wine accessories here that I want to share with you. So first of all, we have our dripless pourer stopper. So once you uncork your bottle, it's kind of hard to get your cork back in there. So we have our pourer here that just sticks right in like this and you can cork it yourself. So you just push down that tab and when you're ready to pour you would just pull up the tab and then what's really cool is when you pour it's not gonna gotta open it first <laughs> see it's not gonna pour down the side which is nice see so it's nice clean right there okay so then if you're a wine drinker like I am um, you know that uh, red wine has tannins in it which um, a lot of people say that it changes the taste of the wine so we do recommend that you have an aerator so there's all different kinds of aerators on the market so this is um, for wet red wine you don't need an aerator for white wine don't fall for that if you see one on the market don't buy it because white wine does not require uh, aerating so you take the aerator stick it right on top like the dripless pour stopper and then Make sure I get kind of close so you can see it. See how it's kind of adding that oxygen in it and that aerates it. So red wine needs to be aerated, right? So you can open it a couple hours before your meal, let it sit on the counter, put it in a decanter, which is those, it's thin at the top and then it kind of uh, bells out a little bit. Um, and you can let it sit in there. Me, preferably, I just do this and then the wine is ready to drink, okay? So some other tidbits for you, um, for your wine, is your red wine is supposed to be served at room temperature and your white wines are supposed to be served chilled, okay? My personal preference, I like all my wine cold, colder the better, but again, it's all up to you how you like to drink your wine, okay? So red wines are supposed to have a nice big goblet so you can hold it like this and the warmth of your hand uh, keeps the wine warm. So then for white wine, you're supposed to have a stem um, so you can hold it like this and keep the wine from uh, getting warm from your hand. And then this is for champagne. Don't be putting your wine in here. This is for champagne, okay? I'm not a wine expert, but let's keep everything correct, okay? So that's what I have for you guys for right now. Um, stay tuned. We're going to play a little game this evening. So tune in to win lots and lots and lots of tickets, okay? All right, thanks for tuning in.